thank you. Good morning. Thank you to the panelists. Well, I want to say I'm glad I'm glad there's been a lot of research on this, but I would just tell you my, my common sense as a mother and a grandmother, uh, and I've been uh, around lots of little kids my entire lives and so forth. I, I, I could just say there's no question about the importance of a healthy no. emotional development. And, uh, you know, right now in uh, Broward County, which is just south of me, there is the death penalty phase of someone who killed dozens and dozens of people in the Parkland shooting. A perfect example of a of a, uh, a a young man who did not have good emotional development. Uh, now that's an extreme case, but I I, I want to talk about my home state of Florida, which is I'm telling you we're in a race with with uh, Texas for the craziest governor and legislature, in my opinion. And um, so they let's see what they did this year. You know, I, just to let you know. Uh, we have affordable housing's gone up, the flood insurance has got up, but that wasn't dealt with, but they did do this. They enacted the don't say gay bill and a banning critical race theory. And I, uh, even though there is no such thing as teaching critical race theory, but uh, you know, what, what the, the ban on the, the don't say uh, gay bill bans any classroom discussion on gender, gender identity, and sexual orientation in grades K through three, and bans any discussion that any parent might find inappropriate in grades K through 12, where the teachers are just all gagged up now in Florida. Um, I would like to have any of the panelists, if you wanted to comment on this in, in terms of what that is a potential threat for our children. And the community. Uh, I'd like to comment on that. One of the things that we know from many, many, many studies on positive youth development is that kids will struggle to learn and focus if they do not feel safe physically, safe emotionally, and frankly, identity safe. When kids are othered, you are setting in motion, a process by which bullying can be promoted, where kids will walk into school and be afraid that they and their identities and their cultures are not welcomed and not affirmed. So there are a couple of problems with that. One, it produces fear and anxiety walking in the school door. Second, when kids are anxious and fearful, they can't concentrate. And then on top of that, you're not giving the classroom, a language for tolerance, for being able to know how to behave around people that are different than you. So citizenship, something that we prize in this country, has a great deal to do with experiences with people that are different than us. 